الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد. From amongst the positive and righteous characteristics of Ahl Sunnah wal Jamaah, and may Allah Subhanahu wa Taala bless us to be amongst them, is contained in the verse where Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says. والمؤمنون والمؤمنات بعضهم أولياء بعض يأمرون بالمعروف وينهون عن المنكر ويقيمون الصلاة ويؤتون الزكاة ويطيعون الله ورسوله أولئك سيرحمهم الله إن الله عزيز حكيم. In this verse, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala describes some of the characteristics of the believers. That the believers possess these beautiful and righteous characteristics. This is the asul of Ahl Sunnah. This is what Ahl Sunnah is inherent to the methodology and creed and and way of and saluk and and way of treating individuals. This is inherent in Ahl Sunnah's characteristic. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says in the Quran in Surah At Tawbah, verse. Uh, verse uh, 71. He says that the believing men and the believing women, they are supporters of one another. They command to the good, and they prohibit the evil, and they establish the prayer, and they pay the alms tax, and they are obedient to Allah and His Messenger. And the law will have mercy upon them. So your humble law, verily, a law is the Almighty, all wise. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala here makes clear for us those characteristics we want to possess, and that Ahl Sunnah, as Sheikh Ali bin Fozan, Hafiz Allah Taala, use this verse. To show the evidence that Ahl Sunnah possesses this characteristic of being gentle with one another and gentle with their fellow brothers in Islam, brothers and sisters in Islam, and that Ahl Sunnah they command the good and they forbid the evil. They command those things which Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has commanded in, in the Quran, in the Sunnah of the Prophet, the authentic Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So Ahl Sunnah adheres to the Quran and the Sunnah. And they prohibit those things which are prohibited in the Quran and the Sunnah, and by the understanding of the pious predecessors, رضي الله تعالى عنهم أجمعين, beginning with the Sahaba of the Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم, and that Ahl Sunnah also establishes the prayer. They're praying people. They worship Allah سبحانه وتعالى, establishing the five daily prayers as was commanded. In the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, that this is the religion of the law, and this is the important characteristics of Ahl Sunnah is that they treat and love their brother Muslims, and they strengthen one another, and they adhere and command the, to the good and forbid the evil, and they establish the prayer, and they implement and collect and pay the zakat. They pay the alms tax. tax. They pay the charity, which is from their wealth. These are characteristics which the believers possess, and they are obedient to the to Allah and His Messenger, alayhi salatu wasalam. Meaning that they are obedient in adhering to the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam. This is who Ahl Sunnah is, and Allah, as a reward, will have mercy upon them. This is; these are the sifat uh, mamnur, the sifat that are praiseworthy that Ahl Sunnah possesses, and may Allah Subhanahu wa Taala bless us to possess those characteristics and bless us to stay away from those things which Allah Subhanahu wa Taala hates and adhere to those things which Allah Subhanahu wa Taala loves. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.